I've been here uh, today to deliver a training session to all the skippers uh, participating in the Clipper race. Uh, we've been dealing with a lot of functionalities of the software. First, the main interface and also the main functionalities. And also we've been developing uh, the skills to create routing and to look at the weather forecast. When there's a new version of something, you know, new software, you want to kind of get hands-on with the new features and, and how best to optimise your use of it. It's going to be hugely useful to both skippers and AQPs that they, they sort of have the same level of training in terms of the use of the software. Um, and, and to both be able to run the boat effectively in terms of maximising its use both safely um, for safe navigation and, and tactically for race performance. So I think for Mike and I it'll be really helpful because it's going to give us a comfortable and effective way of passage planning. Uh, it's got some really useful and quite sophisticated alarms and guard zones built into it. So in terms of hands-off passage planning, you know, being able to step away from the nav station for a few minutes to look at other things, you've got a margin of safety built in there. And for weather routing, there's some really sophisticated options that you can work on, adjusting your polars and adjusting your forecast as you go, which as we only get one forecast a day, will be really helpful. I thought the weather routing was fascinating, the way that it integrates that into the route planning. Um, it's a really sophisticated piece of software and it was absolutely stunning to watch how it routed as we used that data. From version 3 to version 4 we have various uh, new functionalities, uh, mostly focused uh, on the routing and also on the weather forecast. So now we have a total different interface concerning the weather forecast, an animation with particles and also the meteorogram that you can actually get some weather conditions all along a route, for example, or on a specific area. Essentially, the combination of what your boat can do performance-wise and, and the weather you're currently experiencing with this type of software kind of integrated together into an algorithm which um, gives you kind of options in terms of um, fastest routes between two points. And more so than that, just making the user interface kind of more flexible and useful in terms of decision making. So it's, it's allowing for better and faster decision making in terms of tactics.